you arrive without your offensive coordinator, Tony Elliott. The news just coming out today, not here due to COVID-19 protocols. What can you share with us about what's happened? Uh, well, he tested positive, and uh, so, you know, it's unfortunate that he's out. Uh, you know, we, we love Tony. Good news is he's doing great. Uh, he's, he doesn't have any symptoms or anything like that. So, wish he was with us, but uh, he'll be with us in spirit. He'll be zooming in with us uh, until we get on the bus and, and go play. But uh, looking forward to a, a great game and, and uh, just proud of our team. Unbelievable preparation. You guys are excited to be here and ready to go play. How do you anticipate this affecting the play calling duties via the coaching staff come game time? Dad? Yeah, well, Tony, Tony's always been up. I've been down. We've always kind of done it together. And, and uh, we'll put street up. Okay. And that'll be the biggest difference, be street and I. And, uh, Spiller, Spiller will, will handle the running backs on the field. Uh, you know, and that's really, that's really it. You have preached all season adaptability, <laughs> right? Let's win the day, win the week, win the next game. How does this just continue to challenge the teams need to adapt, Dabo? Yeah, I mean, it's 2020. I mean, this is, you know, listen, you got no excuses. I mean, it's just football. I mean, uh, players play. All right, it's not about plays, it's about players. And uh, we got a good group of players that are well prepared. Tony's done an amazing job in uh, helping, you know, pull this plan together. And it's now it's up to us to go execute it.